Hello guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video, I'm going to show how to install macOS Sequoia on UTM. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. You may have a question about why to install macOS Sequoia on UTM when one can install it on a supported Mac. The simple answer is that few of the user may want to try, test, or experience the new OS before installing it onto their device. Here comes UTM. UTM is a full-featured system emulator and virtual machine host for iOS and macOS. It is based off of QMU. In short, it allows you to run Windows, Linux, and more on your Mac, iPhone, and iPad. To install macOS Sequoia on UTM, you'll need UTM to securely run the macOS Sequoia on your Mac, Xcode 16 for mobile device package installer, and macOS 15 restore image. Download the files one by one as shown. After downloading the files, move UTM to the Applications folder. After moving UTM to the Applications folder, extract the Xcode 16 zip. After the zip is extracted, Open package contents of Xcode beta and then browse to the following path within Now here, run the mobile device package and continue with the installer. After successful installation, close all and then open UTM. Now in the UTM window, choose Create a new virtual machine, or click the plus button to create a new virtual machine. Under the Start window, choose Virtualize. Under OS, select Mac OS 12 Plus. At the IPSW selection screen, click on Browse and select the Universal Mac Restore IPSW image file you downloaded earlier, or drag the Restore image to the current window. Now configure the hardware allocation of the virtual machine. However, if you just want to try or experience the OS, I'll suggest moving with the default settings. For storage, adjust according to your needs and usage. Now name the virtual machine to save it, like macOS Sequoia, and select Save. You'll now be at the UTM screen again, and you can see the macOS Sequoia VM. So select it, and then click on the Play Start button to launch the Sequoia virtual machine. When you start the VM, you will be asked to confirm if you want to install macOS and confirm that you do. Let the installation of macOS Sequoia in the virtual machine continue by restoring through the IPSW file. It will not look like a typical macOS installation because it is restoring rather than installing.
As you can see, macOS Sequoia setup screen is here. Set up your Mac according to your preference. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. And finally, macOS Sequoia Desktop is here. You're now running macOS Sequoia virtualized in UTM. This is a full macOS Sequoia installation with access to the internet, the ability to install system software updates as usual, and if you sign in with an Apple ID, you can use all the typical Apple services inside the virtual machine as well. This makes VMs really useful for testing and development since it's basically a virtual Mac, and whatever you do inside the VM won't impact the host computer. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.